Okay, so let's do let's do a polar equation. Okay, now a polar equation is almost going to be the same, except we're not dealing with x and y's anymore. Instead, we're going to be dealing with uh, r's and thetas. Okay, so I'm going to start taking away some of these um, right here. So this one's going to be a negative theta test. This one's going to be a negative r negative theta test, and this one's going to be a negative r test. Okay, and it's not y-axis of symmetry anymore. Instead, it's going to be. Oh, let me get rid of that. It's going to be polar axis of symmetry. Uh, that's this one is polar axis is kind of like a, an x-axis. Okay, uh, theta equals pi over two of symmetry. Well, that's kind of weird. And then the pole that that replaces the origin of symmetry. The the pole is kind of like the origin. Okay, so the test is kind of the same, but it kind of gives you different results. And the only purpose of this test is to make graphing them easier. So if you don't like this test, then just make a big table and, and then graph it that way. It'll, it'll work. Okay, so um, what is a polar axis? No, I'm sorry. What is uh, theta equals pi over 2? I don't know. Did you guys know this? Like when you graph uh, theta equals pi over 2? It goes straight up and down. Yeah, so pi over 2 is... Um, right here uh, but what's the radius it doesn't matter whatever the radius is it's just gonna put dots all up and down this thing these are all the positive radiuses these are all the negative radiuses so pretty much it's just a line straight up and down so theta equals pi over 2 is pretty much your y-axis well from what you guys remember Shh, you guys are too loud all right let's see uh, let's go r equals uh, 5 cosine uh, theta. All right, let's test this. Uh, you guys could kind of do this stuff in your head. If we do a, a negative theta test, we plug in negative theta, what do we get? 5 theta, cosine negative theta. What do you get? When you plug a negative theta into cosine, what happens? You guys know what happens? Cosine degaffs, guys. He doesn't care what you plug into him. You get the same thing. So this equals, yeah, it's, it's loose. So we get the same thing. Did we get the same thing? Is there symmetry? Yes. Sir. Yes. So there's symmetry about the polar axis. Uh, what, about, what about the negative R, negative theta test? Let's plug in those. So we have negative R. Whoops. Negative R and negative theta. So we have five cosine negative theta now the negative inside the cosine is going to go away so just cosine or uh, five cosine theta and this is a negative r is this the same as what we started with no. no so boom it fails that test right now we do not know if there's symmetry about the theta equals pi over two notice i said we don't do not know can there still be symmetry there yes but we don't know for sure so we can't use that symmetry to help us graph uh the next one the last one, negative r equals 5 cosine theta. That's the same thing that we ended up with over here, so this one also fails. So we only have symmetry about the polar axis for that function. So this time let's try it with sine uh, 3 sine theta. Okay, let's do the theta test, the negative theta test. If I plug a negative theta in there, what happens? I go 3 sine and I negative theta. What, what do I get? R equals negative 3 sine theta, right? We plug a negative inside a sine, and it changes the answer. So this one fails. It fails that test. What about the negative R negative theta test? Let's see. If I plug a negative R in there, and I plug a negative theta in, what do I end up with? Okay, so that would be a negative R equals negative 3 sine theta. Hey, do we have... Isn't that the same? Can we cancel out the, the negatives? Yes. Is that the same as what we started with? Yes. All right, so we ha that means we have symmetry about the pi over 2 axis, which shouldn't surprise you guys. We already graphed something like this before. He looks like this. It's just a circle with a radius of 3. Oh, well, from the center uh, or from the pole. Okay, now, if I try a negative R test, and I plug that in, there's no simplifying, nothing we can do. It fails because we don't get the same thing that we started with. All right, so we just, uh, we just tested um, for symmetry on these really simple ones. 
Uh, we'll do some more tomorrow.